Do you ever get worried about viruses? Anything like that, whereas a lot of other devices like a PC, a computer, you would put an antivirus on. On your Fire Stick, your Fire TV device, you install a lot of applications. Do you ever worry what they might bring along, whether they have tracking in them, um, whether they're downloading malicious software, whether they are having Trojans within the apps, whether they're making connections on your internet without your knowledge. Lots of people download from many different places. And I'm going to quickly show you how to check your apps to see if there's any malicious content within them and whether you should delete them straight away because you're if they aren't working right if they are doing something they shouldn't be it's a high chance it will slow down your device high chance it might be using your ip address as a uh, p2p network on some form of vpn you never know so let's make sure we know what these apps are doing so we're going to show you a few tips on this video before we do that though if you can do remember to hit that subscribe button check out the channel we've got tons of content for you for streaming whether it's new videos, old videos, fresh videos, streaming, tips, tricks, a lot, all on one channel. And let's get on with it. Remember, if you're a regular watcher and a new watcher, try and watch till the end for me. So today, we're going to have a take a li little look in DevSquid. Some of you may have used this already. Um, I will show you how to install it in a minute for those who haven't. And what you can do in here is do a virus scan. If you do a virus scan, it will scan all the apps on your device. I've scanned mine. I clicked on all apps scanned. It scanned them all. And as you'll see over here on this big green circle, my apps are all green. Green equals harmless. Brilliant. I want you to try it. When you finish watching this video, once you know how to install it, scan your apps and let me know if you get any malicious ones, okay? It will show you that. It doesn't show too much more detail. Um, there is a virus total. If anyone's interested, in, check out my channel. We've done videos on this in the past, which will show you what is actually the malicious part. But most of the time, it's not things we really understand. So we're going to look for green. If they are red, you would want to delete them, okay? So you can easily scan it. So you get the app in, you go to scan, get them done. Undetected is very likely on some new apps. So they are ones to come back and check in a later date if you get any undetected. But you want to get green. If anyone gets any red, let me know down in the comments and let me know how you get on. Um, in here, you can do a few other things as well. You can clean up your app so you can clean your device if you want to. Do you want to delete old APK files? This is something we covered recently. That is definitely a good thing to do because that deletes the old files. This way it doesn't store up your storage all on this one device okay it's very very useful so it'll quickly do an app junk remover for us and that will quickly clear up a little bit of space my fire stick doesn't have a lot of junk on it i've recently factory reset it to get it to its best ever running so that's almost done for us and once it's done we will see if it's found anything six optimizations for us brilliant we like that we are not too fast what it is as long as it makes our device better you can also manage apps so if you had any of those apps which showed up red a minute ago you can either select them and click uninstall or you can force stop some if they're running when they don't need to be force stop we go back and that is stopped as well okay so this is a good one to check if you want to check if any apps are running in the background as well so you can click on any of these to uninstall if you wanted to um for demos purposes i'll just uninstall this one we click uninstall and it's gone as quick as that. So if there's any dodgy apps in there, you can uninstall it. You can virus scan to check them. You can do a cleaner. You can run a speed test to check if you're um, safe, if everything's um, up to speed, sorry. And you can also do a privacy test, which will check if your VPN is working correctly as well. So to get, to get, to get this app, the best way is to go to your magnifying glass and type in here, type in DefSquid. D E F uh, S Q U I D. Click it and then you need to install it, okay? Get it installed. And once you've installed it, you can open it straight up if you want to. But the high chance is you'll want to move it to somewhere like I've got in a prime position here. To do that, you go to your three squares here in the plus, scroll down to my apps. And you'll find DevSquid right at the bottom. And when you find it, whichever app you want to move, you click the free line button on your remote and you can click move to front or move. And then you can move them around wherever you want to, okay? Whichever app it is. But obviously, you'll be moving DevSquid. I've already moved mine to the front already. 
So do get it moved and let me know once you've done that as well. Another couple of things to do I'd recommend is go to your settings, go to uh, My Fire TV, Developer Options. Okay, if you do not have Developer Options, click on About and click on the top option seven times. You'll see it flash in there. Mine says you're already a developer, yours will become a developer. Push back, then go in Developer Options. ADB debugging, personally, I keep it off. This stops applications or anything making a connection to the outside internet. And install unknown apps should be off for everything apart from something you install via, like Downloader. Um, ADB debugging, you may need to turn on in the future. When you watch some of our videos, we will tell you when to do it. But this will stop anything. If you see here, it says, warning, this will allow anyone on your network to install applications from untrusted sources. Okay, so we don't want anyone to be able to do that. We want to do it ourselves. So when we are installing something, we turn it on, we install, and then we turn it off again. That makes sense, okay? So now you've got your DevSquid installed, you can open it up, dismiss that first one, and then you can go to your virus scan, run a scan, let me know in the comments underneath if they find anything, and that's it. Manage your apps and clean it and speed test. Brilliant. So. I hope you like that quick refresh on that one. That'll be old stuff to some of you. That'll be brand new to a lot of you as well on what you can do on your device. So do check it out and let me know how you find it. You've also, if anybody is interested talking security, I would highly recommend using a VPN. NordVPN is my partnered VPN currently on my videos. Um, they're a great VPN. They do pay us a small commission. Um, that helps support the channel. That helps us do what we do. So if you are interested in one, but we, you know, we used to do IP Vanish a lot. We now do NordVPN a lot. It's not about who pays the most or anything. It's actually about who performs better. NordVPN speeds are much faster. NordVPN is currently unlocking loads of applications when things like IP Vanish almost became too big. A lot of their servers were blocked, so they weren't unlocking anymore. So for me to promote to you, it's better to promote a service which works better. So IP Vanish is currently on the sidelines until they change a few of their servers, personally. Um, NordVPN have 5,300 plus servers. They seem to be working with Netflix, Prime, iPlayers, ITV Hub, all the top apps, and it still seems to work, which is 100% what we want. So the link for that is directly underneath. Remember, a VPN doesn't give you free access. A VPN doesn't bypass payments. It's all there for your security. And if you are being blocked or anything like that by your geolocation, it is there for you as well. Brilliant. So I've been Doc Swiffy. This is the Doc Swiffy channel. Thank you all for watching. I hope you like that one and I'll see you soon.